Hello, Keller Williams. This is Christy Bryant with the Best of Austin Living team at Keller Williams Realty. I am an agent and I help agents fully utilize DocuSign. So I am showing you right now how we're going to uh, utilize the import function from dot loop into your opportunities. There is another video out there. Um, I want to show what happens when you have to add an in information in order for the import to fully happen. So if I click, I'm in opportunities right now, I click on import. I'm going to choose the pipeline. So it's my best of Austin living um, pipeline. The dot loop profile was what was under mine under Christy Bryant and I'm going to click continue. And then here under the status, I found that it is most helpful for me to change this to sold because I'm, I'm importing my past uh, opportunities that have already closed. And so I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find one to pull in. Um, so let's pull in the one for uh, Celeste and Steve. So uh, I have found for myself that I need to go ahead and write down what this closing date is. Otherwise, I get a little tripped up. Um, when I'm doing the import and it's also good for me to have written down the address as part of the issue when I'm importing it. So I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to click import selected. Um, let me just mention that it says that you can import 25 at a time, but almost every single one of mine had something that needed to be updated in order to import it. And so that was causing more problems for me because it took out of the 25, it took the very top import uh, client name and wanted to apply it to everybody else. So I found that for myself going one by one right now is the easiest way. It's actually pretty quick. It's easier than exporting all the documents and then importing them. Um, and so uh, I, I'm just finding for myself that's the easiest. So here, import complete. It says zero were imported successfully. Zero could not be imported. One needs to be manually reviewed. And that's what I'm finding needs to happen on all of mine. So here's my opportunity name, the owner, the buyer. Um, they bought this particular property. So I'm going to actually put Celeste Wiley um, as the uh, buyer here. It does not allow for buyer two on this particular sheet. The estimated close date, that was uh, April 15th of 2018. So let me go back. So I'm going into 2018, April, April 15th of it couldn't be April 15th because that was a Sunday. So let's just go ahead and put it as uh, the Monday. So the address here, once I click on this, um, it's going to be the United States. The address line is going to be 4807 Broken Bow Pass. And I'm going to submit this. So when I, when I, okay, so here we have everything in. I'm going to click Save and Exit. So this is going to create an opportunity. So if I come up here to all opportunities, I have the address. So it was 4807 Broken Bow. I'm going to click on this opportunity. So when I come into documents, it does not fill the documents in here for me. But if I scroll down, move my little face, if I go into imported from dot loop over here on the bottom left, it now has all these documents over here for me that I could link up if I wanted to. Frankly, I don't need to link them in, but it's nice to have this information. I don't know about you, but I often go back and sometimes I've needed to pull surveys if somebody has sold quickly. Maybe we need to look at an inspection report. Something has come up and I've needed to look at some documents. So now I have these documents in command, easily accessible, that were pulled in easily from Dotloop. I hope that this helps. If you have any questions, any requests, let me know.